In this short video course, I'm going to show you the basics of Firebase's new flagship database, Cloud Firestore. Before we talk about the technical details, let's do a demo of the application that we'll be building. This is the login screen. There's nothing special here. I only added this because it's more realistic to have an authenticated user. Notice there's no way to register a new user. This course is focused on Firestore, so I've just added a user manually into my Firebase console. I'm going to log in with my email, mitch at tabian.ca, and type my password. Here is the main screen. We'll start at the top. The first piece of functionality is the menu. If I click it, there's only a single option, sign out. That's going to do exactly what you think it does. It's just going to sign out the authenticated user. Next we have a recycler view containing a list of note objects. That's what the app does. It's a cloud-based note-taking application. I'm going to navigate to the data section of Firestore so you can see the data that's being retrieved. Here's the notes collection, and here's all the note documents. As you can see, this note matches this one, this note matches this one, and I'm sure you get the idea. If I click the floating action button, I can create a new note. I'll enter a title of new note and some content that says this is a new note. When I click create, you'll see a new document inserted into the notes collection. As you can see, the note is now showing down here in the list. You'll also be able to edit the notes. If I click our new note, a dialog inflates. This contains the title and the content of the note. I'll edit the title, and now I'll edit the content. Watch the database in the background when I click save. As you can see, the note was updated in Firestore, and it's showing the updated title in the list. The last topic we'll be covering is deleting documents. I can delete a document by selecting one from the list then clicking the text view that says delete. As you can see, the document was removed from Firestore and it's no longer showing in the recycler view. That's it for the application demo. It's simple, but it's a great way to get an introduction to Firestore. We covered all the major concepts when it comes to inserting and managing data. We inserted new data, we queried data, we updated data, and we deleted data. We'll also briefly talk about Firestore security rules and how to create a custom index. In other words, we're going to be exploring some of the features found in these two tabs. All the code is going to be available on GitHub, and I've added a separate branch for each part of the course. That way it's going to be easy for you to get unstuck if you're having problems. We'll talk more about the code in the video named How to Use the Source Code. It'll be the next video in this playlist. This course is not meant for beginners when it comes to Firebase. It's meant for beginners when it comes to Firestore. That being said, I'm not going to be covering things like how to create a new Firebase project, how to sync your Android project with Firebase, and how to add the Google Services JSON file to your app folder of the project. If you need help getting started, I suggest watching the video on my channel called Android Firebase. Just search my channel for Android Firebase, and it'll be the first video that comes up.